Thailand has been pretty exciting for me lately. I became a university student, or as you would call it in the States, a college student. So <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. But I'm a freshman at Nanyang Technological University. So I'm a freshman at NTU and I'm majoring in communication studies. Yay! So I actually live on campus because um, in Singapore here, NTU is very far from the city center and I'm currently in my hall room. So I thought why don't I give you guys a short hall room tour as well as a little bit of my hall because before I came to university, I did search on YouTube whether um, anyone had made any horror movie videos and I only managed to find one from NUS, which is the National University of Singapore and so I thought this would be helpful for um, people who are just curious about how horror life is, how a horror room looks like so I'm going to show you guys that so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the tour Welcome to my room! Right here I have accessory board. So I just got the metal wire frame from Daiso for $2. Right here we have the light switch, the fan switch. This is actually for aircon so here it says please remove the card when the aircon is not in use because you have to use a card. So let me show you when you put it in. Yeah it will light up. It's gonna tell you how much money I have in my aircon card. I now have $3.95 that's not a lot. So to use the aircon, you have to pay about like 0.01 cents for every 2 minutes. So if I use the aircon for the whole night, right, it can go up to $2. And yeah, so one week is $10. Mm. So yeah, the aircon remote control is here. Down here, I just hang my fob. So the fob is actually the key that you use to open the door. Uh, right here behind the door, they have some hooks. But I use it for my bags. So Ta-da! This is the study desk. Uh, the only desk that I have actually. The first thing you see is the stitch, of course. So this stitch was given to me by a friend in the hall. And right here I have a clock. And here I have a bunch of $1 coins. You must be wondering why. So in the hall, right, you have to use the new Singapore $1 coins for laundry. So yeah, this is how the $1 coin looks like. I'm currently taking communication studies with a second major in business. So these are my communication modules and these, these, these are my business modules. Yeah, the rest are communication modules. Oh, that's one more on Friday. Yeah, so this is how my timetable looks like if you're wondering how a university student's timetable looks like. <laughs> well, it really differs from course to course. Uh, right here, I just have the academic calendar, a chart of my assignments, the readings that I gotta do. In the university, there's quite a lot of readings you have to do. And right here, I have my Mac, then my casings below. Uh, this is my phone. Uh, here is the internet cable. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong because uh, I'm not very good at IT stuff. So this connects to the internet and I don't have a router because since I'm in a single room, I thought It'll be a waste of money since I'm the only one using it. I have a mirror. Hi hi. So I use this for my makeup. Here I have one of my favorite things. It's a diffuser. So this diffuser really saved my life when I first came in. There was this like super wooden smell. I hated it. Yeah. So this diffuser is from Ikoya. It was a gift pen holder. I uh, have my combs as well as my brushes. I know this isn't the best way. I'm currently going to order another organizer from Dice as uh, from Taobao. So these two are from IKEA as well as this one here. My hairspray and this is from Daiso. This is this works pretty well, yeah. This is from Taobao. There's actually a top part to it, but I didn't bring it. So here is just like six drawers where I put my makeup. Yeah. Lipsticks. I didn't bring. Oh, this is empty. I didn't bring a lot of things so far. Uh, this is just some rubber bands and pins, and I have a tweezer as well as some falsies. Uh, down here is where the bulk of my stuff, my skincare is. So, oh, my, okay, my contour stick is supposed to be here. Okay, <laughs> so this is yeah, just my skincare, some block creams, Zenbak. If you don't know what Zenbak is, Zenbak is kind of this ointment that helps with cuts, with bruises. I think it is made in Thailand, so I think the States or like some European countries wouldn't have heard of it. 
I have a perfume from the body shop. Uh, my foundation, I have some masks. Ah! Oh my goodness, I have a facial mist. These are just like smaller bottles that I got from Miniso because I didn't want to bring the full size like product. So this is actually the Cosrx AH liquid. Then um, I have the color here. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I know. I'm not. The, I'm not the. I'm not the most organized person. I have a green face base, my contact solution, um, the serum from Suhasu. Uh, ah, I also have eyeshadow palette here. This is from La Bigode. Okay, so moving on to the drawers. Yeah. Okay, maybe let me sit down first. My, I'm pretty tired. <sighs> Okay, so this is a chair. So I actually bought this seat from IKEA. It was about $14. I have a jacket here to wear when I get cold. Okay, moving on. The first drawer, okay. Okay, yeah. I just have a bunch of random things. I have, I have the new gen wine uh, exfoliator because I'm very lazy to use any like other kind of exfoliator when I'm in the hall. These drawers are so freaking hard to open. Oh my god. So I just have a bunch of random things. It's ridiculous, I know. I'm not gonna open the last one because the last one is actually just sanitary products. The multi power plug that I connect through here, through this thing, through you know the, the things they can put your laptop in. So I connect it through and then I masking tape it all the way to here. Yeah. So here I have this is for my fridge, you will see it later. My MacBook charger, my iPhone charger. This is actually my color. Yeah, my color and my hairdryer. I just place them here just for convenience sake. This is to my boiler. So I have a boiler as well as a water jug to keep the water hot because I like to drink tea and everything. So here it goes. Um, oh, I totally forgot about the, the cupboards up here. So I'm just gonna do it first. Okay. Yeah, so this is the food cupboard, food cabinet. So here's just a bunch of snacks that I bought from Value Shop. Just another cup. Uh, I have a knife inside. It's a ceramic knife if I want to cut something. Yeah, and then I have a bowl. Um, some instant soup. Panadol because I was recently sick. Yeah, um, here is my favorite. Here I have coffee, creamers, green tea. I have some Earl Grey tea, I have some chamomile here, oh my god, chamomile, yeah, so just some tea. Here I have uh, our meat squares, so I haven't started to eat them, but this will probably be my breakfast soon. Okay, so here I have my fridge, so I just got it last Friday. Here I have just have some utensils out here, I have a succulent on top, because so my friends thought I'll be lonely, so they bought me a succulent. And then inside the fridge, I have some random stuff. I have pipa gao, tin temps here, and these were from the value shop for a dollar each. They're upside down, are they? No, actually, no. Yeah, so I got one in vanilla and one in chocolate. I have a KFC mashed potato from last night. I'm gonna eat later. I'm, I'm gonna bring it down to microwave, don't worry. Um, I have a milk, yeah. So I have two milks here, um, and I have apples in here, yeah, because of my fridge for some reason is not cold right now, so I'm trying everything to make it colder. Okay, so right now we have our bed, so there's not much to it. Okay, so moving on, next to my bed I have a laundry basket, yeah. Here I have my towel and just some clothes from last night. Okay, one of the more exciting parts, uh, the cupboard. Okay, ta-da! Okay, let's start from here first. So here are just the clothes that I usually wear to go out, to go to class. Because I go back home every weekend, so I don't bring a lot at one time. Hi! <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Here, I just have some pants, sleeping pants, as well as pair of tights, shorts. Here are more earrings that I haven't hooked up yet. Here are just some other shorts and just random t-shirts that I wear to sleep, to lounge around. 
below are my underwear so I'm not gonna show you in detail so let's just skip it okay going down going down going down okay here I have some extra hangers and here I have a basin this is from giant and it was one dollar so I just have some laundry bags I use to put my underwear when I do laundry these are some travel bags that I do use to like transfer myself from home and vice versa oh for the love of god it's so hard to open oh my god okay so here i have a ikea bag in case i need to carry anything i have a random ikea ziploc bag for some reason these are you notice that these are the vacuum packs that usually people use when they travel so i use it to put my dirty clothes when i want to bring it back to home to wash Here there is a floor mat because when you go out to the toilet to bathe, then I come back, I dry my feet here. Yeah. Alright, so we're actually done with the room tour. So right now I'm actually gonna show you guys the toilet as well because I think that's a very important part. Okay, so this is actually my shoe rack. So yeah, each room outside there's a shoe rack. Here I have my stuff that I bring to shower. I'm actually being very quiet now in case someone sees me and it's very weird. Like people are like, why are you taking a video? So yeah, just my shower stuff. So this is the corridor that leads to the toilet. Okay, trying to be as fast as I can. Hope that there's nobody in the toilet. Oh my god. Looks like there's no one in the toilet, so I'm just gonna do this really quickly. So there are three sinks here. Hi hi. Um, there are three showers, so one here, one here, and one more here. I usually use this as number one because it's the biggest. So here is the shower head and the shower. There's hot water, don't worry. And here is where I put my shower caddy. And each bathroom has two hooks. And there's also three toilet bowls as well. So here, one, two, three, it's pretty self bowl Actually, there's four. I'm not gonna show you guys the toilet bowl, right? You don't have to see it, right? Okay, so actually that's all that is in the toilet. So, yep. Yeah. All right, so I guess that wraps up a bit of my hall, as well as my hall room tour. So right now, I, it's only week two of school, so I don't have a lot of things moved in yet. I'm still slowly adjusting to hall life as well as school life. Just to answer some of the questions that you guys might have, um, this hall room is a single room. You can actually choose to have a double room and room with other people, which is more um, common. Getting a single room is harder, especially for freshmen, as well as it's more expensive, okay? So this room costs 410 SGD per month. In other countries, you probably could live somewhere else better off. Yeah, than a hall room like this. I'm not complaining about a hall because the hall is like renovated recently, so it's very new. The facilities um, is not old at least. It's pretty clean. The toilets are very well maintained as well. But the room is kind of small, and I live on the fourth floor, so there's a lot of climbing up and down every day, which I don't really like. Uh, there's also a pantry, but the pantry is on basement one, so that's why I brought in my own boiler because I'm definitely not gonna go all the way to basement one. And I also got a fridge because yeah, everything is just so far away from me. And getting a fridge, right? You actually have to declare it, and you have to pay eighty dollars for the whole semester. I think maybe because it's extra electricity charge. So staying in hall is actually pretty convenient because you can wake up like an hour before your classes. If you don't take as long to get ready, then you can wake up half an hour. We also have to take the bus. We have a campus shuttle bus that um, drives us around school because the campus is very big. So to get to classes, you usually take the campus rider. So it usually takes me about 15 minutes to get to most of my classes. All in all, I would say staying in hall is more of an experience rather than a need for me. So I've made pretty good friends because there was hall camp before this as well. If you ever want to stay in hall, I would definitely recommend, recommend it. Uh, if you're just trying out for one semester, one year, or you're going to stay there for your whole university life, like many people do here at NTU because it's so far. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful for those of you who are just curious or you know want to do some serious research about coming to a university in Singapore. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!